Hello, Fellowship Baptist Church family. Pastor Michael here. This is a bit of a special week. This is Volunteer Appreciation Week. And we as a church body have many, many volunteers. And so on behalf of all of us, I want to say thank you. But there are some others that want to say thank you too. Hey guys, it's just John from the uh, audiovisual ministry here. Just wanted to say thank you to all of our volunteers and our members that make it such a, uh, a great thing every Sunday. Hope you all are doing well and just thank you very much. Hi, this is Wendy and I'm here just to say thank you to all my many volunteers working uh, at FBC. Uh, volunteers that work at FBC Kids, Kids Club, um, High Power Soccer Camp, the baby shower ministry and also my amazing volunteers who work in registration thank you so much we couldn't do it without you hi church family i just wanted to say thanks so much to everyone who helps out with the various areas of care and compassion and local outreach uh, my facilitators for freedom session meal ministry um, all the bakers all the deliverers all the organizers i just want to say a big thank you during volunteer appreciation week this week Thank you to everyone who's volunteered or helped in creative ministries this year. Whether you participated as an actor or puppeteer, or you came to our shows, or you prayed for us, your support has meant so much, and thank you for everything you've done. Hi guys, I just want to thank everybody who helped out in decor at the church. Um, whether you helped out with um, putting up stuff or taking down stuff, I just want to just thank you so much for everything that you've done. Hey everybody, it's Dan with Facilities and Maintenance. I just wanted to take a sec to thank everybody for all their hard work this year and all the progress we've made making this wonderful building as good as it can be. So thank you all. Hi, it's Roy Halliday from Fellowship. And I just want to thank all the people who've helped make coffee before church and help with the meals and the cleanup. And it's just appreciated so that we can actually have some nice fellowship times. Hey everyone, Mardella here from the library ministry. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has taken materials out and donated materials. Hoping everybody is doing well and looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Brian with Men's Ministry. I just want to give you guys a big thank you for all the help you've done with breakfast, with delivering treats to the pen. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, I'd just like to thank all those volunteers that have helped with uh, him sing I don't know how I would have managed without you, um, Elaine and uh, Leona, um, Susan and um, Anthea, thank you so much. And all those who have contributed um, goodies for the snacks and helped to serve them. And Ron, of course, has been helping with uh, leading. And I just appreciate every one of you so much. Thank you. Hi, Paul Myers here with uh... Uh, supported Outreach Partners Ministry. I just want to extend a thank you to all those that have been involved and and uh, and helped out with uh, my ministry. And uh, it uh, it has gone a long way to further God's kingdom. And I thank you for it. Yes, I'm Murray Wood. I serve as the coordinator for Ministry of uh, Ushering and Greeting. I like to certainly appreciate the people who work on my committee. That. The greeters do an excellent job. I hear people reporting how friendly the congregation and how the Fellowship Baptist Church is. And that's a large portion of the people who serve on this committee. They're warm. They have a great love for God. and They love to serve and greet people. And the people who are on ushers who take up the collection each, each Sunday do it without uh, hesitation and if there's somebody missing, I just ask someone, oh sure, I'll help. So it's a real blessing to serve on this ministry. Hi everyone, it's Chantal here for Women's Ministry. We just want to thank um, all the volunteers that help out with the Women's Ministry. And uh, we appreciate what you guys do so much. Thanks. Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm the Worship Ministry Leader. And I just want to thank all my amazing leaders and musicians and vocalists, all the amazing people that and talented people that put our teams together and lead worship every Sunday. I just want to thank all the amazing volunteers at FBC, including the ones that helped me on youth Sunday after Sunday. Thank you so much. What is so amazing to me is all those that you just heard from, except for one, Pastor Aaron, are volunteers. The hours that they put in to serve you and to serve uh, serve God in, in their ministries uh, is, is incredible. 
So thank you, ministry leaders, for your volunteer work as well. There are some other areas that I may have missed. Um, I, I think of others uh, that uh, I'll just mention now, the tellers on a Sunday morning, uh, they, they count up the offering. Um, they're out of a job right now uh, due to our social distancing and, and not being able to meet together. Uh, our lockup people, uh, same thing. They're out of a job. They cannot volunteer. Um, and, and yet they continue to serve uh, when we are open. So thank you for those that do that job as well. For our elder board, thank you gentlemen for your work, for your volunteer work that you put towards this church. Thank you for your leadership and your direction. And all of this, the reason why we volunteer is to glorify God in this place. Thank you for serving. Thank you for being a volunteer, each and every one of you. You make FBC Drumheller what it is by your serving. The reason why you do is because you're a body. You were the body of Christ. And we are asked to serve one another. One of the most encouraging statements that I've, I, I, I want to leave with you is from 1 Peter 4, verses 9 and onwards. Let me just read it and just, actually it's verse 8 and on. Um, I'll just read it and, and it just applies so, so well to the volunteers that we have here. You, FBC Drum Help. Above all, love each other. Love each other deeply. Because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, which you are doing. Faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Thanks so much.